Hey, hey, Tim's Tips here. Happy New Year. I'm going to talk to you about the wiring system that I used, uh, the Panduit system and DIN rail technology that I used in the van build. And I think, uh, I think you're going to like this. This is heads and tails to me above all the kind of rat's nest wiring that I see in some installations, including my prior installations. So here we go. So let's talk about uh, van wiring and uh, what I did was I used my electrical engineering background uh, in building electric cars, high voltage systems engineering and looking at it's a vibrating house on wheels to look at what can I do here? What's the requirements? Um, I wanted a centralized wiring center. I wanted to use DIN because I knew that was very prevalent, uh, lightweight, uh, inexpensive, modular and safe uh, technology developed mainly in Europe, but it's also uh, China, China and uh, United States as well for industrial designs. And as it says here, the DIN stands for uh, Deutsch Institute for Normung, which I guess, you know, is German Institute for Standardization. So it is a standard design. Everything kind of clips in together uh, on the uh, DIN foundation. Uh, the parts are uh, Panduit Panel Max. And this is readily available on the web, either from Panduit or their uh, uh, resellers. Uh, the DIN uh, mounts on top, as you can see there, just uh, metal rails that uh, screw in with, uh, with screws into the plastic. And then you can wire this from 4 to 24 gauge wire. Um, I used, uh, uh, although 4 is not really meant for 4, 4 gauge, that's pretty thick, but I, I did manage to double up some wire if I needed heavier gauge uh, in my build. Uh, so uh, this is uh, uh, readily available parts uh, from the web, as I'll show you. Here's a shot of some extra Panduit panel max that I had, and it just shows you the construction of it. Fairly lightweight. It's got the holes going between the uh, uh, both sides of the DIN railing. You can see the hinged part of the panel max where it, it hinges out to allow you to fit your fingers in there so you can route the wires uh, uh, in and around the area. Uh, but first, uh, what is the Panduit Panel Max? Uh, it's available to organize wires, uh, separate high power from low power, which I did in my design. Uh, you don't want to mix like signal wiring with with high power designs that uh, put out a lot of flux and the magnetism around the wires. Uh, it provides a mount point, physical mounting for uh, both DIN and non-DIN parts. It's anti-vibration uh, in that the plastic's pretty steady. Um, Anti-crosstalk, uh, as I said, uh, you can separate the wires with these spreaders so that they don't uh, talk to each other and get and glitch. Okay, so let's step back a second and look at the DIN rail uh, basic uh, construction. And what you do is you just lay a piece of the DIN rail segment on and you screw it down with a, a metal screw. Well, as you know, I have a lot of high power parts in my van build, but here's a 12 volt breaker, complete 12 volt breaker panel. I've used two of these in my design, just mounted this right on the DIN rail. And uh, that way I could kind of handle all the 12 volt fuses in a simple way rather than using breakers for everything. Uh, actually simple and cheap, you know, per breaker. And uh, so I really like this, uh, this particular module uh, for DIN rail. Then you lay additional pieces down. Uh, whatever you need uh, for the DIN rail mounting, keep screwing them down. Then you look at your breakers. For example, this breaker disconnects from the DIN rail like that with just a simple screwdriver. Here's a prototype module that you can easily just, um, it has sides on it, you just disconnect it, and then you have a circuit board. You could lay out components if you choose to do that. Then you can start laying out your components, uh, whatever you need there. These are wiring uh, panels, uh, and relays and so forth uh, and so you're left with a, a design an ever-evolving design of just plugging in the DIN rail. Once you start wiring this up it, it goes rather quickly uh, all the parts these are relays big power relays that I uh, designed and uh, it kind of ran out of room so I had to as you can see kind of squishing some other circuits in there but here's a DC power supply DIN rail mounting uh, 120 volt to 12 volt uh, power supply so very versatile uh, capability. Um, so this is what you're you're kind of left with uh, with your des a simple design. 
And uh, here's the, the lessons learned. Uh, I would have gotten a larger steel box, smaller Panduit Max, and drill more holes, as you can see here, drill more of these holes because I ran out of space. The smaller uh, Panduit is here. Uh, this is the model number that I would have used. I used uh, something a little bit, little bit big, but it was still all right, and a bigger box. So you need to size your box out to what your needs are. Uh, but you would need to fit your fingers in there, and I had trouble uh, uh, fitting my fingers in, so you need a, a bigger box. Well, that's it for now. Uh, thanks for listening, and please subscribe.